Hello viewers, I am Rupesh Tiwari and welcome to Full Stack Master. In our previous video, I demonstrated you how to create cart items count selector and if you are following along with me so far in this course, then you might have created get cart items count selector successfully and you might have run your unit test successfully as well. If you are facing any difficulties or if you could successfully create selector, then please write it in the comment box so that I know that you are with me so far. I'll be glad to read your comments and experiences. In today's video, you will be coding along with me to create brand new cart items count component. Then I will write the code to consume get cart items count selector reactively and you will learn how to show the cart items count on the top right corner of our product mart web application. So now set your time for the next couple of minutes with me and do not go anywhere. You should not miss this video and watch it till the end very carefully and understand it. So let me ask this question to all of you. How many of you want me to create some introduction course on Angular and GRX? Let me know your answer in the comment box and I may consider that as my next course. If you check our overall design, then you see that we already have created gate card items count selector. We converted them into observable to make it reactive as well in our previous videos. So now it's the good time to create a component and consume our selector. So let's go ahead and first create cart items count component. And then after that, we will consume selector function in our cart items count component and try to display the total count. So before we begin, let's go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not done yet. In our Angular app, we want to create Angular component called as cart items count. So now I will teach you how to create a component using Angular CLI. Before I go ahead and create a component, let me ask you one question that in our project, in our folder structure, where do you think we should put our cart items count component? So in which folder basically I will go and create this component. You may pause this video and find out in which folder I should create it and then resume. So we have our cart feature module. However, the answer is not to put this cart component inside the cart feature module. Since cart items count component is used in the header component to show the count and header component is in the block module. Therefore, I cannot put the cart items count component into the cart feature module. I will have to put it into the shared module because block module cannot take features module dependencies. If you notice this dependency diagram, you will find that the block module where we have our header component can depend on shared module and it can depend on core module. It cannot depend on feature module. Therefore, cart items count component should be either into the shared or it is into the core module. Then let me ask why can't I put them into the core module? And the answer is the core module cannot have visual components. Hence, our component goes to the shared module only. If you are interested to learn more about the definitions of shared, core, block and feature modules and you want to learn more about the dependencies, how they should depend each other, then watch the most popular and most watched playlist in full stack master called as angular folder structure for large scale enterprise application. If you are following along with me in this course and planning to finish this course, then I will highly recommend you to watch completely angular folder structure for large scale enterprise application in full stack master and do not miss it. This will increase your understanding and you will be more confident while coding along with me. This is the way you use reactive selector in your angular component. 
So we finished showing cart items count in our application. If you are facing any difficulties, then feel free to write in, in the comment box. Please be subscribed to the Full Stack Master channel and stay tuned because in our next video onwards, we will be making cart pages and we will be also making submit order things. So when you click on the cart icon, it takes you to the cart page from where you can submit your order. This page we will be making from next video onwards. So please stay tuned because we will start building our core part of the application from the next video onwards. If you have any feedback or suggestions for me, then please feel free to write into the comment box. I request you to please subscribe to Full Stack Master channel if you have not done yet. Also, please share these important videos to your friends and families because we deserve more subscriptions and Full Stack Master goal is to reach up to 10,000 subscribers and help them to become Full Stack developer. And without your help, it is not possible. So please share as much as you can and I appreciate your help. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end and listening to me. I will be seeing you in my next video. Till then, happy coding and be happy.